What is up guys? So, today I'm doing an EDC video. This is EDC for October of 2018. Um, this is what I've started carrying every day with me. Um, yeah, that's just about it. So, let's just get right into the video. Alright, so here's my EDC. If you guys can tell, it's fairly sparse and I don't carry 90% of this all the time. So, oh, oops, I forgot actually one thing. There we go. All right. So, there really isn't much to it. Um, I, I don't have that much stuff that I carry, and I've never really been that big of a fan of carrying something in my pocket, like, all the time, because I feel like I'm kind of, like, not necessarily weighed down by it, but I'm, uh, I have to pull it out of my pocket in order to do a flip or something like that. But I have been starting a kind of more regular carry schedule sort of thing so this is everything that I carry so starting over here this is a old iPhone 4 um, got dust all over the screen and I just smudged it great that looks good oh hey hello hi hi camera now you can see yourself anyway so just a regular iPhone 4 um, that we, me and my sister actually share, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I'm planning on maybe upgrading to something like a the Pocophone F1, or maybe the Honor Play, but I don't know. Next is the Leatherman Squirt, which I have started carrying uh, all, every day. Basically, this stays in my pocket, and I I never liked carrying knives, like. Not knives specifically, but I never just like carrying anything in basketball shorts. Um, just because it, it looked funny to me and it weighed everything down. But this knife is just so small. Like, if you really look at it, let me grab a ruler here. It is a, I mean, just barely over two inch knife. And then it's only, oh, let's see, uh, three quarters of an inch wide. Which is, that's a small knife. And then I just put this little, uh, 275 paracord keychain on there it's starting to uh, pull apart right on the end come on focus the end is starting to pull off but that's fine I don't really care and I mean this thing has come in handy way more than I thought it would um, but also I kind of expected that I use these little itty bitty pliers which they come to complete full closure at the very end so that you can pull out slivers with it but I've used it to pull off uh, bits of 3D prints and stuff like that, and that came in super handy. And then on the outside, which I like that all the blades are on the outside, you have this little blade right here, which is, um, uh, it's it came really, really sharp. And the, the one thing I can say is that it's only ground. That's one side. That's the side that you would lay against, if you're right-handed, you'd lay against your piece that you're working on. And then on this side, that's where the edge is. So it's only really sharpened on one side, sort of. It's not, I don't know, it, it's different. I haven't really seen very many blades like that. And then this file right here also come in handy for 3D prints. I think I said something about this file in the video where I uh, messed around with the drone. And then a uh, screwdriver and can opener, bottle opener thing. And I've used a screwdriver just like you would use the uh, end of a nail file or whatever to clean out from under your nails, and it works perfectly. And then, uh, then you have this bottle opener thing, which I I used. I can't remember what I used it for. Um, it wasn't a bottle. I can't remember what I used it for. And then on this side, these scissors, which I've used to trim my nails, which it, it feels so weird when you cut your nails with scissors, but I mean it doesn't really matter that much, especially because you have a file. But this thing, although not a survival tool or, you know, a, a big, you know, work tool, it's definitely, uh, definitely very, very helpful. Like, I wouldn't depend on this to survive, but, um, I definitely, uh, definitely think it's a great, great little tool that Leatherman made. And, you know, it's 35 bucks, which is quite a lot for something that's this small, but you get the 25-year Leatherman guarantee so in my mind perfectly worth it next we have these beglary beads right here 
these just uh, these are some beads that I printed. I didn't design them. They're the Titan OS beads on Thingiverse that are uh, weighted with. Let me. I can't remember what size those are. I can't remember what size nuts those are. And then there's just P solid PLA plastic with more blue 275 cord in there. I've really started wearing and having a lot more blue stuff, which is odd because I always like black. But you know, having an actual color to like is pretty good. Next, we have my wallet, which is actually a wallet I found off a tutorial on YouTube. Which uh, oh, it was Mini Mod Monday. He showed how to make this, and it, this is actually a really nice wallet. It's super thin. Um, it could be thinner, but I use this Masonite board, and then I took the Masonite and masked it off and then stained that, that little triangle on both sides, um, which looks really nice, makes it look a bit better. And then it's got like five coats of clear coat on there, clear coat spray paint, uh, to give it shine. And then I just got some elastic band and super glued it and then put the stitch in there just to make it look better. And then you can just pull out all kinds of, you know, cards and stuff, and then you can use it as like, not necessarily a money clip, but a money holder on the back. You could put your money inside, but whatever. And then one of the things that I'm most happy about for this is this part right here. I have a, I used some very, very tiny chisels and made a perfect sized SD slot. So let me grab an SD card right here. If I take this SD card and flip it over and put it in there, it lays completely flat inside there, which is awesome. Well, not quite completely flat, but it lies flat enough inside there. Oops, sticks to my finger. It lies flat enough in there that uh, you can just put this right back into the wallet and you have a tiny little SD card in there. And if you wanted, you could just trace out a SIM card and be able to put your uh, SIM card for your phone in there. But there's just there's a lot of things that you could do to this because it's kind of a flexible design. Oops, put that in upside down. Anyway, that was kind of the wallet portion of it. Uh, wasn't really that big of a big of a thing, but I do really like this. I don't carry this very often. At the end, I'll kind of tell you how much I carry all this stuff, but it's not very often. Next, uh, Zippo. This is just a Zippo lighter that I carry around. It's just fun because I can, you know, do tricks with it and stuff, and yeah, and it doesn't really, you know take up that much space. I mean, it's bigger than a Bic lighter and weighs more than a Bic lighter and stuff like that. But it just, I mean, it's a Zippo, come on. And uh, just learning tricks with it and fiddling with it, it was just kind of fun. So that's why I sometimes carry that. And then as far as bracelets go, this is a bracelet from, uh, well, it's from Amazon, but originally it had a strap that came from here went over to the side, came back over, and then instead of having a button here, it actually had a post that came up here, and then just a hole and a strap of leather. And the hole ended up pulling out, so I took some just uh, old guitar strap leather, or bass strap leather, and uh, cut it and punched holes in it. I actually sharpened the edge of uh, some uh, cartridges. I can't remember what size they were, uh, but they're just some uh, some brass from something and sharpened the edges of it and were, was able to punch the holes out and then got some buttons from my grandma and uh, was able to make that and so I wear that a lot and then recently because I've started to get into the color blue I've started using this bracelet not using wearing this bracelet which is also 275 cord so it's lighter than a paracord bracelet and just as a comparison let me grab a paracord bracelet right here this is a paracord bracelet. This one is actually a little bit bigger because it has four strands instead of two strands in the center, but I don't think I have a regular paracord bracelet to show. But you can just see the size difference in the actual cord that's used. Because it's half the size, but it's actually really useful stuff. And I got it from uh, Paracord Planet. That's where I got that stuff. Um, but yeah, that basically just goes over my entire EDC that I mostly carry. Alrighty guys, this is actually some GoPro footage because I don't have my other camera, so this is different. I haven't recorded with this in a while, but so this is a empty backpack. It's literally empty except for like a few 3D printed things in there that is connected to a stick. 
just ignore my disgusting, messy room. Duct taped to a light. This is the light I use for my videos. I just drape t-shirts over the top of it. Actually, those t-shirts over the top of it when I'm, you know, trying to get softer light. Duct tape to a stick. This duct tape to that. That's has That has the tripod duct tape to it for the camera. It's going to auto power off right now. That looks over that. This is this is my overhead camera rig. It it works better. It actually, it doesn't work better. It's just cheaper than buying an actual tripod and camera rig. But I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes on the ingenuity and work that goes into this.